Hey everyone, welcome back to Massage Therapy Marketing Tips. Today I want to talk to you about how to blow, and I mean kaboom, blow up your practice with one move. So as a massage therapist, well as, as any type of therapist I guess, but we're talking massage therapy, People are always looking, hey, how do I make this practice grow? How do I put rocket fuel under this thing? How do I make it sustainable? Here it comes, guys. Reviews, testimonials. And you think, oh, that's way too simple, Mark. Please, please, it's too simple. It isn't. It isn't. How do you choose a restaurant you've never been to? You typically ask a friend or go online. How do you choose a new vacation spot around the world? You go online. What do you look for? Reviews. You want the social confirmation that this is the right decision. So imagine you're going to get somewhat naked under some sheets who you're going to go get treated by. You want some reviews, right? You want some social confirmation that the person knows what they're doing. They're a trusted source. They're worth investing in. They'll develop a therapeutic relationship with you to get you better with whatever condition you have. So reviews, crucial. Do not ignore it. Nothing drives me crazier than when I meet a therapist and they go, oh yeah, no, I have no reviews. What do you mean reviews? I feel nervous about getting reviews. It's just like, whoa. If you feel nervous about getting reviews, you on a, you're on a beautiful success train to slow growth and potentially stressful times. Because what will happen is you'll be like, I'm doing such a good job. Why, why aren't I getting rewarded? Simply put, people aren't talking about you. People need to talk about you. Now, how do you get people to talk about you? You're a new massage therapist, or maybe you've been out 10 years, you had to move to another clinic, or maybe you're, you've moved to another region, right? It's new, whatever it is. Okay, how are you gonna do this? What you need to do is you need to do a hell of a good job. And I'm talking a job that ranks you a 12 out of 10. So when the client leaves the room, they go, whoa, man, that was way more than I expected. Now, if you want help with that, go visit one of my videos where we talk about specializing, making your practice niche, figuring out what you're focused on. Take a look at that video. There's actually a couple of them, but they'll re it'll give you a real idea of how to make it work. If you do not make it work for the client, when they leave and it's only a seven out of 10, not very good, not very good. So how do you make it? 12 out of 10, 12 out of 10, focus on everything you can, knock it out of the park. Now, once you've knocked it out of the park, then you go to the client, you say, and, and typically what happens is they come back, and of course, that's part of the treatment plan, and that's in another video. Make sure to look at how to do a treatment plan. If you can't build a therapeutic relationship, the whole thing falls apart. So very important therapeutic relationship. Um, so once you've identified they're going to return for some more treatment, the next time they return, you're going to listen to them. And you're going to say, you know what, John, how are you feeling? And John's going to go, my God, Mark, I am feeling so much better. My headaches are gone. My shoulders are loose. It's incredible. And I'm going to go, oh, fantastic. Okay, well, you know what happened last treatment? We did this, we did that, we did this, we did that. Then John goes, it really worked. When I know John is totally excited about what I did to help him, I say to him, John, what would help me is if you could write a review explaining what happened to you. Because when you explain what happened to you to, to future clients or patients, they're going to read about it, and then I'm going to be able to treat the people that I'm passionate about. It would be really cool if you could do that. Is it possible? John goes, of course, I'd love to help you out. I go, cool, man. Whenever you got time, go ahead and do that. And you make it casual. Don't make it heavy. Don't fumble over your words. Don't get all nervous. Don't start to sweat. Like, <laughs> make it comfortable because most people want to help you out. But if they sense nervousness, desperation, all these things that people can just present with, they're going to be like, I don't know. That seems a bit odd to me. So very, very, very important. You present yourself confidently, 
casually and in a supportive way that the client is really going to help you out. And they're going to want to do that. Now, second thing I do is we have cards. So we have on a business card, we have um, uh, Electra Health. On the back, we actually have the Google uh, link. So for some people that don't quite get the internet, and there are still some out there, um, or you're going to make it easier for them to remind them to do it by giving them a card they put in their pocket. People are busy. They go home, they forget. But if they pull the card out, they go, oh, yeah, I remember. I wanted to write that review for Mark. So it's a tool to tell them where to go, but it's also a reminder tool when they get busy and forget about it because they're most hyped in the practice. They're most hyped in that time they're with you. You want to be able to give them the ability to be successful and that means giving them the card to remind them. Third thing is, if you don't get the review, do a nice gentle follow-up, right? In a couple treatments, do a follow-up. Say, hey, John, you know what? I know we're doing so well here. We're working on your shoulders. We're working on your headaches. Um, how's it going? Were you able to write the review? And of course, you know that because you've checked. John's going to go, oh my God, Mark, I forgot. You say, no problem, man. When you get a chance, I'd love you to help me out. Again, my passion is to treat people with headaches. And I'll give you an example. I've had headaches for a very long time in my life. That's why I'm into this area of focus and specialization. So when he senses my passion and I helped him out with his problems, of course he wants to do it, but give him the gentle reminder. He's not ignoring you, he just forgot. Life got busy. Don't wind yourself up that you didn't get the review. Just make sure when you find a patient or client that really wants to write your review, because you're able to sense, you're able to feel it off from the way they're saying, what they're saying to you, give them a gentle reminder if it didn't happen. Using those three tips, you're going to get a lot of reviews. And I assure you, when you get a lot of reviews, you're going to get people to come in. And here's the great thing about a review. It brings in someone who wants to be treated by you. When someone wants to be treated by you, they're going to pay more money for it. They're going to be more attentive to your treatment plan. They're going to cancel way less. They're going to be way more engaging because you've attracted the person that is your focus and area of passion. And that's how you make your practice simple. That's how you blow it up easily. So many people can make their life hard. You don't need to. You don't need to. It's all there. So guys, get out there, take action, get some reviews, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen in that practice.